Hi, I'm Ensel Taylor. I'm 29 years old. I'm from Balclutha, New Zealand. I've been living and working as an English teacher in China for four years. I think so, because I think if you're wanting to, to work and save some money, uh, Kunshan is a good place. Like, if, I think if you, I lived in Shanghai, I would spend too much on just doing stuff. Daily stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, whereas here, maybe the salary isn't as high as Shanghai, but you can, you can live cheaply, easily, mm -hmm. um, but there's still enough to do to keep you entertained when you have free time. Uh, maybe how international it is. Like for me, it's not so bad because I can read Chinese and I can speak Chinese. Right. But things like the the bus, unless you actually know where the bus goes, if you look at a bus uh, schedule at the bus stop and you can't read Chinese, you have no idea where it's going to go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's been a problem. So yeah. a few things, even pinyin would help, or just a little bit more English on public transport and signs. I guess. Okay. It's better now, the buses actually speak English to you as well. Okay. Um, in the yeah. past it was only a Chinese announcement. It's, a, it's getting there. Okay. It's getting there. Any other suggestions? Maybe if the Quinshan government were listening right now, what would you, what would you say to improve? For foreigners at least. For foreigners. Hmm. I think taxis something as well. We need. I think Kunshan needs more taxis for starters. More taxis? More taxis. Oh. Like if you ever try to get a taxi either on a rainy day or close to the end of work. A oh, rush hour, yeah. Yeah, it's just impossible. Yeah. <laughs> right, I don't know if it's the Chinese government or if it's foreigners that are being too relaxed that there's not the same sports teams or I mean, a big thing for New Zealanders is to be part of either a football team or a rugby team or some sort of team sports where you play on a Saturday. Yeah. And there just isn't that here in Kunshan. There's not for foreigners at least. Maybe there's some competitions around, but it's hard to access. It's hard to get part of a team. Yeah, I mean, it's not officially government sponsored or anything, or you no. know, it'll be just a foreigner set it up by ourselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's hard to get into like a proper like league yeah. of any sport. Yeah, just even if it was just translating whatever ads are for, for activities into English more, mm -hmm. a lot of what I find out about is just because of word of mouth. Mm -hmm. I have a Chinese friend that knows what's happening and happens to mention it. Oh, are you going to such and such? Okay. 